At 10, former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz visiting the Valley days after announcing he's exploring a possible run for president. The announcement creating some shockwaves across America. Team 12's Michael Downa joins us live here in Studio 12A. And Michael, he's been a Democrat almost his entire life, but he's looking to possibly run as an independent. Yeah, that's right, guys. Simply put, he says the Democratic Party is now too far left, but remains a strong opponent of President Trump, calling him today unqualified. Schultz says in divisive times that we're in right now, there needs to be a change. The system needs to be disrupted. Our system is not working for us. So could a former Starbucks CEO be that disruptor? Well, for Howard Schultz, he's at least exploring that idea today during a book tour at ASU, talking about a special inheritance from his mother. If it was not an inheritance of money, it was the fact that my mother had this belief in America. But this book tour quickly turning into a political town hall on Schultz's potential presidential run. I'm going to speak from my heart. I'm going to speak from my conscience and let's see what happens. All this talk, though, has not been sitting well with national Democrats. I'm not for anybody who stands in the way of a Democratic victory um, for president. Or some here in Tempe who fear a Schultz run could lead to another Trump victory. But what you're going to do is you're going to have us have another four years of President Trump. Schultz says he will only run if he believes he can win, but opponents today brought up one name. Ralph Nader. I heard the same exact thing for him, and we got President George Bush. So from Nader to Perot, over the last 100 years, third parties have often just split votes, never coming close to an actual victory. But Schultz believes the time is right and promises he will not be splitting votes. Nobody wants to see Donald Trump removed from office more than me. Schultz says he wants to see improvements in things like health care to comprehensive tax reform to the national debt. But when reporters pushed him on specifics on what exactly he wanted to do, well, he didn't provide them. We're live in Studio 12A. Michael Doudna, 12 News at 10.